Uh, we have a confession from the chat room. Alex says that he nearly cried when Brock uh, f 5 you in front of your mom. Yeah, he nearly cried. I, 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 I most definitely cried. <laughs> <laughs> it, is, it didn't. Um, it didn't feel good getting uh, f 5s uh, uh, twice into the ring post and power bomb twice, and mm -hmm. and he swung he swung a chair like a baseball bat, uh, you know, <laughs> upside my head. And, and this was this was 2003 WWE man. We you know uh, now the guys put their hands up. Because yeah, we've noticed that watching WWE like network. Like I know I know Eamon here. He's kind of catching up with some Attitude Era and realizing how. <laughs> unbelievably so violent. violent it was back then yeah. and you were you were right in the i guess the tail end of that right yeah that yeah totally there's tons of blood and um there was no talk of concussions mm -hmm. or anything like that mm -hmm. i got actually i suffered a concussion in my last appearance on wwe and uh they they sent me home the next day um i saw a doctor um, but they didn't really follow up with me and, or, or try to figure out, you know, what the, what the issue was. But, uh, but now, you know, thanks to guys like Chris Nowitzki and, um, I'm sorry, Nowinski and, uh, I think that's his name, right? Yeah. And, yeah. uh, mm -hmm. you know, the, the new research coming out and the new, uh, technolo technological advances, you know, we realize that how serious brain injuries are and, and hopefully, you know, we're, we're saving, saving guys' life. And, and it sounds like, it definitely sounds like they're, they're, and hopefully having a longer career for a lot of these guys too, you know, that don't lead to well, these kinds of problems. Yeah. It's, it's about, it's about having a longer career and it's about having a longer quality of life, yeah. you know, as you, as you get older and, and not, you know, uh, deteriorating in, into, you know, dementia and, and, and Alzheimer's and, mm -hmm. you know, the, the worst case being, um, you know, Chris Benoit, hopefully we'll never have to see an incident like that ever, ever again, you know, and, and, right. and when they, when, what would they say when they did the, autopsy on his brain he had the brain of a 70 year old or something like that yeah. you know yeah. and it's and of course they they can't help they didn't help the situation um and we, we want to try to avoid that you know we want to have longer careers but we also want to have longer uh quality.